Hello guys, this is Mike again. You know, I don't know why some manufacturers do this. When you have a small cloud book or Chromebook and you have 32 grams of inbuilt, inbuilt memory, and what do they do? They make it so you can't put your SD card all the way in and it merely makes a hassle for traveling and you risk breaking this thing off into your SD card. Well, I found something pretty neat on Amazon. This is a, they make them for raspberries, they make them for different raspberry PIs and different things. They make it everything where, uh, well, they make them for small uh, items and things, laptops like this, it's not designed well, at least not the SD card is not designed well. You can go to Amazon in different places since I deal a lot with Amazon, this is my favorite. But you can just stick that in there. And voila. This is running Android 6.0 or Marshmallow. So this is a definitely an integral part of my um, operating system. Because I run a lot of my browsers and I run a lot of my programs off the SD card. And since Marshmallow allows me to do that. I, I think it's a really good idea. This is the Acer Chromebook. Um, I'll probably do another video uh, to show you. In fact, let's do it now. I'm going to show you some of the features of running the uh, Marshmallow on the Acer Chromebook. Watch it boot up there. Okay, this came with Windows 10. It turns out after the last update, I only had five gigabytes of memory on my hard drive, and it did. Uh, it did say I could put it on, put some programs on my SD card. But I'll be honest with you. Um, that's not that's not I don't I don't I that's not what I wanted anyway let me let me get back to you Okay, I'm going to show you some of the things about Marshmallow on here. I found it on Windows 10. This is actually a very slow little laptop. It was cool. Everything worked. But it was very slow. But running Marshmallow x86, designed for the Intel PCs, I find this is a quite, quite speedy. You can have the option of running a mouse. Or a, or a, um, as as you see here, the trackpad. But uh, opening up the um, storage, it's perfect. Okay. Memory, okay, it's just about half. That's okay, though. That's actually very good. But as you can see, opening apps, it's actually pretty speedy. I'm going to open my favorite. Um, I do have um, Opera on here, and you have to open it several times. But I found that Maxton is nearly perfect as far as um, what have you. But you can see it opens and closes apps quite, quite well. Quite speedy. This uses the N3050 uh, Celeron chip. For 10, it might have been slow, but I tell you what, for this, it's very good. Anyway, that's the end of my video right now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.